Hey, um, I just wanted to make a video, um, at my church, we've been talking a lot about different things, but one of the things that really has stood out to me is about forgiveness, and I wanted to add to the conversation. Um, also, if you wanted to watch some of those sermons, um, go to YouTube and look up Christ Chapel East. There's some pretty good uh, messages going on there. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about today is about uh, wounds, like spiritual or emotional like wounds. I've heard it said that things that are true in the physical are also true in a emotional or a spiritual sense. So the idea is, you know, like in the physical, like if I get a cut on my hand, eventually the cut will heal and it'll turn into a scar and I can see the scars there, but it doesn't hurt anymore. It's healed. And the same is true in like your spirit or in your emotions. You get wounded by the world and by people and by, you know, different things. And, um, you know, those things heal and then there's a scar. Um, or that's how it's supposed to be. Um... But sometimes things don't heal. I mean, we've all heard people say, oh, time heals all wounds. But that's not true. Especially if you're still feeling it. Um, you know, it can be years or decades later and people still feel that emotional wound because it hasn't healed yet. It's not a scar yet. It's still a wound. Um, and sometimes things need to happen in order for those things to heal. Um, it might be that you need to forgive someone who has hurt you. And I know that sometimes that can be a very difficult thing. Sometimes we think, well, that person doesn't deserve forgiveness. But the reality is that person is out there somewhere living their life, not even thinking about you. And you're the one that's still wounded. Forgiveness is not just for one person. It's for both people. Like you're setting that person free as much as you're setting yourself free. Because the unforgiveness is just a prison that keeps you captive. You're just trapped in your pain. And the way that you know is that if you think about the thing, whatever it is, the thing that happened to you, and it still hurts, it still makes you cry, it still stings, then it has not healed yet. Because in life, once things have healed, I feel like that that is like a, a scar is always like a lesson. Something that I learned. Oh, I learned what not to do or or what I should do next time. See, the Bible tells us to forgive people, but it does not say that we have to let them walk all over us. It's like, I can forgive you over there. <laughs> like... It doesn't mean we have to be best friends again. But you do need to let yourself heal. Jesus asks us to forgive because he has forgiven us of so much. And I, I think about all the things that God has forgiven me of. And if I'm not willing to do the same thing for someone else then what good am I? Like, have I not learned anything? Do I have no mercy within me? Because I always try to put myself in that person's shoes and 
kind of try to see why they did what they did. It doesn't make it right what they did, but I kind of start to understand why they are the way that they are. And when I realize that everybody is just human and we all make mistakes and I need people to forgive me of my, you know, failings, like all the times that I mess up, I have to be willing to do the same thing for others. Or else I'm just selfish. But all of that to say, don't hold on to it. Because it's just an unneeded stress, a heavy burden that you're carrying that you don't need to carry. Unforgiveness is like hugging a cactus. The harder you hold on to it, the more it hurts you. My suggestion would be to set it down and let God heal you and let that scar be a lesson of what to do in the future. I love you guys. Thanks for listening.